Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing, completely free lighting effect using only the assets that come with Unreal Engine 5. We begin today's tutorial inside Unreal Engine. I have a basic scene with a metahuman, a camera, and these two wrecked lights here. If I turn them off, we'll show you what each is doing. This one is giving a warm light from this right hand side. And then this is a cooler light going to the left hand side of the face. And here they are combined. That's it. The only thing I have here is as a source texture, I have this softbox texture here. So what I want to do today is add a little movement to these lights. So how we're going to do that is if I scroll down here to light function and light function material, we're going to create a light function material. I go to my content folder and my materials folder and I'm going to create a material and I'm going to name this light tutorial and I'm going to open that up okay so I'm going to click on our result mode and I'm going to set the material domain to light function and it leaves us with just emissive color at the moment it's all black which means it's not emitting anything to show you the opposite of this I will just create a simple scalar parameter and set it to one and as you see it goes completely white which means it's now emitting okay so what we can also do is search for a texture sample parameter and we'll just name this uh, light texture okay and now what we can do is any texture we place into this node will obviously be the emitter so we can choose any texture from the engine we like this demo box look there we go and it will emit that texture what i want to do today though is create a randomness so let's do that now i'm going to start by dealing with the brightness so i'm going to search for a divide node and i'm going to connect that to emissive color and in b i'm going to change the value to 100. i found in test this works the best okay next i'm going to search for a multiply node And I'm going to connect the output of that to A. And then for B, we're going to need a scalar parameter. Connect it to B. And I'm going to convert to parameter. And we will name this brightness. As a default, I will probably set this to 1. Great. So that's a brightness sorted. Right, now it's time to create a randomness or movement. And we're going to do this by searching for function and search for material function call. And at, at the moment it says unspecified function. That's because we need to come over here to material function and find our material function. I'm going to search for chaos. And I'm going to choose motion four way chaos. Now this is heavy. So if you're a game developer, use this carefully. Okay, I'm going to connect the result to A. And we have an error, but that is because we need a texture object. So I'm going to search for a texture object parameter. Here it is. And I'm going to call this light texture. And as you can see, we already have movement. Okay, to control the speed, we need to connect a scalar parameter and same for the divisor. And I'm gonna convert each of them to a parameter. Speed and convert to parameter divisor. And I think for now, I will set both of these values to one. Okay, so here's what we have so far. I'm going to just comment out each section, brightness and movement. 
that's not critical and I'm also going to set here a texture um, let me find one that I like the engine comes with loads look at this offset noise distance fields for normal I quite like, like the look at this one there we go and that's my default texture now I like the movement on that okay so next I want the ability to turn our movement on and off so I need to find a bool and static bool parameter and we're going to give this a name use movement great uh, I'm going to set the default value and then next I'm going to need a switch uh, we need a static switch here it is and this is not connected correctly so I need to connect to value there we go okay next we need to connect everything up so I will take the output of my chaos node and place that into true and then the output of the texture node into false so this gives us the ability just to uh, switch the movement on and off so let me connect the output of this to a on our multiply in brightness and there we go okay I'm just gonna comment this as well and use movement again you don't need to do this I just do it just to order what I'm doing right so next if we click here this value and we disable this it should stop our texture from moving oh we have an error let's fix this error here and it's because we are using a texture object rather than a texture parameter or texture sample sorry so let's search for a texture sample here it is and I'm going to place that in my movement section I'm going to take the output of our texture object and place it into text there you go and now the texture sample has the same texture as our texture object okay I'm going to take the RGB output and place this into false like so and now when I disable this default value there is no error and as you can see the movement has stopped so it's static we can try it with a cube oh, here we go we've got a static texture and then when we enable our default value as you can see it's now randomly moving brilliant okay so what I want to do now in my content folder is create a new folder light functions and I'm going to drag my light material into that folder okay next I'm going to create a material instance and I need to give this a name uh, we'll I'll just add on one for now light tutorial one and then I'm gonna go to the uh, this rec light here the warm one and I'm gonna go to light function material and I'm gonna sign this material instance here okay it's gone blank but that's so we need to make some changes to the material instance so let me open it up and I'll just drag it to one side so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to adjust the brightness first uh, increase it there we go about there that should do for now as you can see it's already moving the light um, Yep, I'll just get this right uh, 30 maybe okay that'll do for now let's adjust the speed I'm going to increase that slightly um, there you go it's probably a little fast uh, do it to five and I'll just make some changes like that to all these values until I uh, obtain the result I desire and here we have the light texture which you can change for any of the light textures or a custom light texture if you have imported one into the engine 
Okay, I'm happy with that one. And so this is what we have. I'm going to repeat the process now for the, our cooler light, the second rec light. And in order to do this, I am going to create another material instance based upon our material. And I'm just going to call this, I'll just place a two in this. So light tutorial two instance. And then I'm going to go through the same process for this light. All good. And there you go. I simply make some changes now. Add a sequencer. Add some animation. And there we have it. Now it's your turn to take what you've learned today and create something amazing. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the thanks button underneath this video. Alternatively, head over to buymeacoffee.com and support me that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.